Okay, I want to give you an update on what I've done with my Outlander uh, Jitney Red from Chic Sparrow. Kind of made it um, at least a little more usable now that I've used it for, it's only been like, uh, I think like three days, but it's made a huge difference in terms of, um, you know, being able to have all the kind of fun stuff that I've wanted to have in this type of uh, planner cover. So this is a cover that I'm using for my Hobonichi uh, A5 Cousins and I wanted to cover it because it was already um, starting to kind of get worn and I needed, I just felt like it needed something to look a little more put together even though this is starting to look like there's a ton of stuff on it but um, right now I added a little charm that I got from Michaels and it's a set of charms that comes like this. This whole thing was a dollar and you just take each individual charm off so it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for a dollar which is um, super cheap and super um, nice. I still need to put a knot in it so that it doesn't move around but right now it moves back and forth so it's just something that I kind of am okay with right now. And you'll see I'll take off this elastic band and open it up because you can already see that stuff is um, chunkier on the top too. It feels not that heavy. It definitely doesn't feel any heavier um, since I've added a few things. So I'll show you what I've added. So this is a um, because this Outlander doesn't come with pockets, so but I wanted to have some type of pocket in here that wasn't uh, just something in the elastics. So what I did is I just went to the thrift store and I got a cheap wallet. Um, it's a leather wallet, and technically it's not a cheap one to begin with, but um, it had like three parts that I could just cut apart. So there's this part, and then this was kind of or this was on the back, and then this flipped over. You can see there's a little clasp snap here. Um, I've left that there because I tried to cut it off and actually it was really kind of hard to cut off and it's not taking up too much space so I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, but what it did is it allowed me to get some pockets here so you can see I have one, two, three, four, five pockets and there's actually another one here um, that I can do. Right now I have just some stickers in here for the planning stuff which I don't, haven't been using yet, but I might have a use for that at some point. It allows me to have another set of pockets here and here. And this one, I just put a little picture of one of our kitties. And then a little paper clip, um, just in case I need one. And then you'll see here, hopefully you can see this. I just took, after um, just using a regular pair of scissors, I cut the wallet apart. And then I used a piece of leather from a uh, leather jacket that I got at the thrift store at a $2 sale. So the whole entire jacket was $2. So this is like just pennies here. And I just glued it inside this little piece of the wallet because there's two pieces of leather here. So I put glue on top and on the back and then put it inside here and then just spread it out and then I put a little piece of glue in the back of this and then just laid it back down um, and it's been I just kind of um, rolled it a little bit back and forth and it seems like it's holding pretty well granted it's only been like two days but so far I think it's gonna work out it can open up if you need it to but for right now I just leave it closed because when I have my Hobonichi open I actually it doesn't seem to make a difference when I'm writing so um, but it allowed me to also get this zipper pocket because these zipper pocket things seem to cost a lot so I thought oh well I'll just buy something that has a zipper and that's what I'm going to use this other side for you can see this is the other part of the wallet so it's going to have another one two three four five six seven and if you can believe it there's more in there um this is just like a, a satin fabric but i think it'll work fine um this is just like an open space from where this piece came off and then there's this um zipper pocket here and the zipper pocket has even more little areas so i'm going to figure out a way to attach this into a different one. I have a couple other traveler's notebooks, uh, more standard and wide size coming. And so I think this will probably fit in well in those. So 
um, that'll give me actually a pocket with lots of places to put stuff and then I'll figure out a way to put this I might even just put this whole thing in there split it down um, right here and then that way I can just attach something here and it can flip back and forth so we'll see how that goes I'll show a video of that later once that project's completed um, and so you'll see sorry I just hit the camera that um, this pocket, even though it's very small, it's just this area right here, which is only about an uh, inch and a half. I was able to fit three of my um, Pilot Ergo grips, which I absolutely love. It's an extra fine tip, um, and then I'm using it as an eyedropper type of fountain pen. So you get these little O-rings, which are only a few pennies. If anyone needs one, I've got like a hundred more. And... You can fill the whole entire thing with um, ink. And so this one's um, an orange kind of um, ink. And I'll have to figure out what the name of the company is. It's a Japanese company for the ink. And the only thing about the particular one is it screws on and off, which allows it to be very safe. And I'd rather have it be safe because if this got all over my um, bag, it would be horrible. So I actually, that's the reason why I only put like a, a mill or two in because I want to see how it works first. Um, and then I've got a um, Noodler's black ink because I realized that most of the fountain pen inks are water soluble so if you try to do watercolor on top of it it's not going to work very well there's this one and then this one is a bluish color and I'll show you what that looks like in the planner but I love them they're like super fine and I'm actually going to leave them out because I'm going like, to start writing in a little bit I can keep that closed. I do have to make sure that this thing comes down because otherwise that actually creates too much bulk and then that feels a little bit funny when I'm writing. And then for the actual planner, you can see I just put a piece of um, scrap booking paper um, on top. Give yourself back to the world every day. Put a little bit of washi tape to keep it on top. That may or may not stick, but I still love what it says. So... Um, I'm going to keep it there. These are the gold binder clips from that I got on Amazon from Kirkland. And one of them sets it sets the um, planner or the Hopanichi so it opens to the weekly spread. I don't follow the monthly spreads as much, um, just for very big things. And so um, right now I just have a tab. And these are these little plastic tabs that you can get from Post-it. Um, these work really great. I just like the look of these gold clips, and so that's why I, I'm using them. And then I just did a little bit of um, color to the spread, just so it has something interesting. And then um, again, we, and then I'm using this. I just started using this yesterday, and I think it's going to work out well. So it allows me to kind of um, open to the day that I'm working on. And you can see what was happening was, um, I have on the Sundays, this actually, I, for some reason I had started a um, project kind of thing on it, but what winds up happening is there's a few things that I wind up doing. So, um, you can see right now it gives me a ton of space, probably more space than I need. And so what I realize is I have a lot of space for notes. Because if you have the weekly, you can see the weekly is where I'm keeping a lot of the hour by hour type of um, must meetings. And then what I can do is I do when I'm getting ready the night before and or the morning of, if I didn't get a chance at the night, is I'll look at the day that's coming up or that day and then just rewrite so that I can in my brain know that I actually have something coming up at this time, this time, this time. And so that I can kind of mentally prepare to be sure I'm in one spot versus another spot. I have some to-dos here. Um, I started putting some notes from uh, a talk that was being given and you can see because it's all the same color it winds up just not really being defined and it makes it difficult to tell what's schedule, what's to-do, what's notes. Um, what's like really important versus like not so important. I don't have a prioritization type of setup um, if I'm just doing to-dos as they come up. So um, I think what I'm going to try to do now, since I do have all these different colors, and these are only three colors, I probably have something like, because I got these sampler packs, I think there's um, seven different colors, black, and then six other colors that I can use. So 
Um, right now I'm going to work with the ones I have, which is that kind of bluish color, putting notes in bluish, and then using the orange to kind of do and highlight things that have to be done. Um, and because I use Saturday and Sunday, which are not official work days, um, for planning, I've been using those kind of full pages um, to kind of set up projects. So this may be a project, and these are individual things that I need to do. And then what I do is... When I have um, specific projects I've been using, let me find it here. Um, the kind of monthly spreads like this. And then here you can see, um, I think I'll put on each of the weekend days what that particular page is about. So it'll be about some type of project that I need to complete and it'll have all the notes and the to-do list for that specific project. And then if I need to do something on a particular day, I move it then to the day layout. So then that way I know exactly what's going to happen on a specific day. So, and I was using these little tabs here, but I could probably get rid of it. I'll, I'll have to see because as long as the binder clip starts to work. And I guess that is it. Occasional pictures. Um, I just haven't had a chance to do a lot with that. And you can see there are some things to kind of highlight that I'm trying to like play with to see if it makes a difference. But here it's easy. I have clinic on a day, so I have that highlighted. And then I can put some individual notes. But it's like, then that way I don't accidentally put something important on this particular day. And I guess that's it for right now. Okay, thanks. Bye.